completing your Fiverr profile setup. Now, after you've created your username and your password, you have to complete your profile setup. So in order to do so, you need to click on become a seller and then you have to be click on the button become a seller. Now it takes you to this area here where you see that it says ready to start selling on Fiverr. Here's the breakdown. Now there are several sections that you need to go through in order to complete this. So you can click continue and it will take you through to the learn what makes a successful profile. And you can read through and play whatever videos that you need to look at as you go through. But in this video, we're not going to look at each section. We want to get to the part where we can actually complete the setup. So I'll just click continue. Now you notice that it checks off that section there, assuming that you've read the information there. So please do read through that information. But for the purposes of this video, we're not going to read through that info. Now here we're on the create your seller profile, which is a section that we want to start at. So we click continue. And then here it has the name. This name is already filled in here and it has an image. Now you're to use an image that as it says, add a profile picture of yourself so customers will know exactly who they will be working for. So you want to put an image of yourself right here. Now for your gig descript for your profile description, you want to let the buyer know about you. Why are you the best person for them to work with? What are you bringing to the table? Who are you? Why would they want to work with you out of millions of persons on Fiverr? So you want to include that section here. Now for the languages section, you want to make sure that you have chosen English if that's your first language and you want to choose native slash bilingual. If you want to edit this section, you simply click this pencil icon here and then you will make the necessary changes and then you would click update. Once you have chosen a language, if you want to add a new one, you would click add new. So click continue to move on from this section. Now for the occupation section, you're going to choose from the options that they have listed here, the one that best suits you. So here I'll choose writing and translation since I'm thinking that that option best suits me. And I choose a period of time from when I have been doing this particular service or just guesstimate a time that you can actually enter here. So for me, I will put from 2017 to 2019 and it says choose two to five of your best skills in writing and translation so i'll just choose the ones that i think i can do best so they say two or three so i'll choose these two here and if i wanted to add new i could add something else for the skill section choose something that you are good at doing you can just add one for now and you can make changes as you see fit. If you want to add a skill, you click add new and you come to the skill section and you type in what your particular skill is. So suppose I'm saying typing is a skill. I type in the word typing and what I can do is choose from the preset options that Fiverr has and that will help the, situ the system, the options to be chosen more easily because sometimes Fiverr, if you don't choose the preset sections or selections, it may give you a bit of trouble. So here it says experience level. So you can choose beginner, meaning you don't know much, intermediate, you know a little bit, and expert, you know all that you need to know. So I would choose intermediate and then you must click add. So here you have two skills. If you want to remove a skill, when you come here, you'll see the delete button. And if you want to edit the existing skill, the same pencil icon. For education, you can put in whatever your education is. So here it says you're to put in the country of or co um, college, country of college. All right, so I will choose Jamaica and you're gonna choose the name of the university. I'm going to type in the university here. Sometimes they may not have the university that you're looking for. So you may have to choose the one that you want to have entered there. So I'm choosing this one. 
all right and you'll choose what type what's the title of your qualifications so I'll choose that and you can choose your major so I'll choose a major here All right, and as I said, if you see a preset option, you can select that and you can choose the year. And then you click add. For the certification part, you can put if you have a certificate or, a, or an award in something specific. So a certificate. and you can put what you are certified in. So for all these options, you're able to add more than one and you can put the year. And then you click add. Now, if you need to put in something for the personal website, you can actually put what your Fiverr username is. So I will put in the Fiverr username that's been used here. All right, so that would allow us to move on. And you click continue. Once you do not get the green continue button, it means that there may be some part that has not been filled out properly. Now here, it's asking you to link some of these accounts so you can link the account that best suits your purposes so I'm gonna link an account here Right, and then we click continue now here if you have not verified the information that's been requested you would need to do so so email if it's not verified you would be able to click and say verify same thing for phone number you'd be able to click this button here and verify by putting in the country and the phone number and it will send you a three digit number that you can use to confirm that it's your number and also for email, it will send you an email that you can use to verify that account. So we click finish and then click this finish option here. And it takes us to creating a gig.